Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Nick Vujicic, an international motivational speaker and evangelist. Nick, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So tell us, uh, what is the point you try and get across when you speak to groups? Well, first of all, being born without arms and legs has had its challenges. And I don't want people to say, oh, you know, wow, look at his suffering. I don't have anything to complain about. That is not the message. The message is knowing that you're not a mistake, that God has a plan for your life and to never, ever give up and to see that my smile is real and my yeah. joy is real and um, to, to know that there is hope above all, especially to the teenagers who feel like they're not content with how they look or they need to be more popular or this or that. Mm. Be yourself and love yourself and reach for the stars for real. Yeah. Just go for it. Yeah, okay. Now you're, uh, you don't back away from your personal life. How did you get to that point of, of openness that we, don't all, we aren't all as open as you are? <laughs> A lot of people, you know, they're like, well, do I shake your hand or whatever? <laughs> Um, and I just hug everyone. Yeah, I know, right? And I, I want people to know that uh, it, it's not about the outside that counts. It's about what's on the inside. And um, it was difficult to believe that as a child, as in mainstream school, a lot of kids teased me and, and you know, made me cry and mm -hmm. come home. I don't want to go to school. And having to face that unwanted attention was difficult. Um, it actually brought me, uh, brought me to a depression. Yeah. Um, at age eight, I looked at my life wow. thinking, I'm not going to have a good life, not going to have a job. Even if I got married, I can't even hold my wife's hand. I'm going to be a burden to my parents for the rest of my life. Feeling that there was no hope, I actually tried to give up. Tried to drown myself in six inches of water and just wanted out of my pain. And I didn't know that there was hope. But in trying to actually give up, I actually uh, saw in my mind my mom and my dad crying at my grave, wishing they could have done something more. Mm. And I realized, you know what? They love me. They don't deserve that pain. And, and because of their love that they planted in my heart, I decided to stay. And so I tell every parent, when your teenager puts up a do not disturb sign on their door, respect it, but go through the window and tell them that they're beautiful. Because the teenagers need to know today that, that they're not valued by how they look. It's who you are that counts. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for coming in. All right, so tell us more. Uh, you're here speaking tonight, uh, yeah. this weekend. Tell us a little bit about that. Tonight, uh, at Cascade Christian High School at 7 p.m., uh, we're going to do a, a massive rally for about two or 3,000 teenagers. So teenagers, if you've got a party yeah. going on, forget it. We're having a better party. Come on down. Come on down. Uh, yeah. it's, it's for free, and there's going to be yeah. pizza, 600 pizzas. Wow. So uh, it's going to be fun. Um, also, at the same place, uh, tomorrow morning on Saturday at 9 a.m., there are a lot of churches that have come together in the city who want to love on the city. So we're doing uh, service, uh, services of love, of acts of service, where we're raking leaves, we're knocking on neighbors' doors and seeing how we can help them in any way possible and let them know about the huge concert going on tomorrow yeah. night at the Lithia Amphitheater at 7 mm -hmm. p.m. Yeah. And it's going to be massive. The Elliott Band's going to be there. Yeah. I've shared a stage with them before. Yeah. It's going to go off. Make sure you come and uh, love to see you there. To be inspired to be all that you can be. Oh, it's fantastic. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Much more with Nick in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Nick Vujicic, an international motivational speaker and evangelist. Nick, when did it hit you that you had something to say and that people would listen? You know, to connect with audiences, it has to be relative. And I think everything in our life, or being a relative, relevant subject is pain, brokenness. What's hope? I mean, we look at the shootings that happen in, in Colorado and so much destruction in this world. What is our hope? What's your hope? What's, what's, what's everybody else looking for? And I want people to know that, um, you know, I, I think hugs are a great way and, and humor um, to connect with people. But I think just listening ear, a, a lot of people love the fact that I'm able to just sit down with them and on a one-to-one -one basis or through a lot of surveys, let them know about, you know, teasing, what I think about teasing, give them some pointers about how to get through their life. But especially in audiences, I love my first experience where I was in front of 300 teenagers and I was very, very scared. My knees were shaking. And within three minutes, half the girls were crying and she came up and she gave me a hug and she whispered in my ear, thank you, thank you, thank you. No one's ever told me that they loved me. No one's ever told me that I'm beautiful the way that I am. And that changed my life. No more was I so excited about doing a double degree in accounting and financial planning. I did finish it, but uh, being <laughs> wow. able to, to communicate a message that transforms lives is just priceless. I want people to know that there is hope, and that's how I connect. I want them to know that no matter where they're at, 
there is a hope in Jesus that they can connect with. Oh, man, so inspirational. Now, uh, switching things up, you just got married. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So, so what else is going on in your life? You, you're originally from Australia. You live in yes. Los Angeles now, correct? Correct, yeah. yeah. Our ministry of Life Without Limbs, uh, check out the website, lifewithoutlimbs.org. Mm -hmm. uh, we're based in Southern California, and we're just about to release my second book. It's called Unstoppable. I don't know if you've seen me skydive, scuba dive, and all that sort of thing. I'm going to be on YouTube in a couple of minutes. Good. Yeah, <laughs> check it out. Uh, but on the front cover of the next book, it's called Unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, 2nd of October, 2012. So look out for it. Um, it's it's gonna it's gonna have me surfing on the front cover, so uh, yeah. I want I people. Put it past you. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to know that I'm not a superhero. It's not like you know I don't ever cry in my life. It, it I have ups and downs, but it's the valleys that make you stronger, and you always learn more in a bad day than a good day. And I just want people to know that, of course, there are things that you know bring me down, but I want to share with people how to get through it and how to see the positive side of things in life and how to know that there is always a greater purpose even for our broken pieces. You don't know what God can do with your broken pieces until you give him your broken pieces. Wow. Well, we've got the full screen up with the events coming up right now Fantastic. again. Thank you so much for coming in, man. It's great Love to see you. you. Thank you very Love much. Too, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 